Hello and welcome to this guided meditation for the new moon in September and the more observant of you if you've been following me for a while will notice that I'm back in my uh, I don't know where to call it home or not but what was previously my home before I went on my travels and if you're new here welcome and please subscribe and follow my channel because every subscriber every minute helps to get me towards that uh, monetization. Now the new moon is always signals like change, new beginnings, it's recognized in all spiritual traditions and uh, at the moment for me that is very relevant. There are a lot of changes going on my in, in, in my life which is why I said I'm not sure whether to call this home because very shortly I'm going to be moving out of here to live a more a nomadic um, lifestyle which is what my intentions were before I went off on my travels in June and um, to see whether it was for me and it definitely is uh, and I'm really it's exciting and scary at the same time. Now, everything is changing all, all the time and there are, I can guarantee that there will be some sort of changes going on in your life and maybe you want to make some changes and you haven't quite built up the courage or whatever reason, haven't made those changes or maybe there's some things that you're unsure about. So let's use this meditation to, um, to really tune into that, to tune into the energy of the new moon and new beginnings and that's not to say it's not going to be without its challenges because change can be scary it can be hard and the biggest challenge that I'm coming up against is not that I don't want to do it it's other people's fears get triggered oh you know and that's fine you know everybody's you know it's not personal. Uh, it's hard because I don't want to upset anybody. That's in my conditioning. But I'm not actually doing anything to harm anybody. This is me living my truth. And that will upset people. People might sort of drop out of your life. It certainly happened to me. But what is the alternative? You know, I can look back, you know, over the last 60 years of my life and think, well, the times that I've compromised to please other people and it's not worked out <laughs> and uh, because I was worried about what they think and I've just realized that some people are never ever going to approve of what of what you do or understand it maybe approve is the wrong word that's quite a strong word but they're not going to understand it because that isn't how they live their life and that's fine I can't understand how anybody could work in the same nine to five job for 40 years and other people probably wouldn't understand well how could I leave um, my home and all my stuff and sell all my stuff and just go around with a suitcase and a laptop um, we're all different and that's good because it wouldn't we would if everybody was like me it wouldn't really work would it and we need a creative people but we also need people that are that are organized and methodical we need a mixture we all have our own unique gifts and strengths to bring to the world so i've talked for long enough now and you'll be pleased to know i have my singing bowl back which i will ring at the end of the meditation i didn't have it while i was traveling because well look at it <laughs> i'm not going to be carrying that round with me um so if you need to pause the video to set up a space go and do that now feel the ground beneath your feet and breathe and if you wish you close your eyes Take some deep breaths. And feel the ground beneath you.
and as the sound of the bell dies away, just tune in and notice how you're feeling. Any bodily sensations, any thoughts, emotions. Allowing it to be there without pushing any aspect of your experience away. Tune in now to an intention that you have for the month ahead. Something that you wish to create. Or something you wish to change in your life. And just notice that you bring that to mind. How does it feel? Tuning into the body. The body knows and allow yourself to listen to the wisdom that is contained within. As we know, when we get a gut feeling, whether something's right or if it's not, so really tuning in now to your intuition. And you may notice things coming up for you. Resistance. Just breathing into it. Allowing the body to soften and the heart to open. If you notice any tension creeping into the body, allowing it to relax.
keep relaxing, letting go, allowing the body to open and soften. Getting in touch with what is true for you. What do you need to change? What do you need to create? Coming back to the body and the breath, feeling the support of the earth. Opening and softening. Feeling the breath and the body. Just having a sense of the whole of the body and the space that your body takes up. Feeling the support underneath you, that's a chair, floor, bed or something else. Just notice what feels true. And just being open, even if nothing is immediately apparent. Just feeling open to trusting your intuition, even if it doesn't make sense. As you go about the rest of your day and the next few days, connected to the energy of the new moon.
Thank you for joining me today. Do feel free to sit on for longer if you wish. Now we've created that stillness, that calm. And definitely just go gently into whatever it is you're doing next or you might want to do some journaling. But I will be back very soon. And in the meantime, take care, go well and lots of love.